Hey guys, in this video series, I'll be talking about building production servers for serving up web applications. We'll be focusing on building static servers and then moving on to building server for serving up web applications, uh, like ones that are built using Ruby on Rails or Node.js or Django, whatever it is you may want to use. I'll be talking about how all the pieces fit together, then we'll dive deep into actually building our server. We'll start with a blank Ubuntu server and build our way up the stack. Before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Zach Suri. I'm a full-stack web developer living in Bangkok, Thailand. So initially, I started off as a web designer and then it slowly evolved uh, over the years into a full-stack web developer. So I've been doing this for about 14 years um, and uh, I love doing it. So that's why I'm here today you know, explaining to you all this uh, cool stuff. So originally, I'm a Ruby and Rails developer, and uh, I've tinkered in, uh, in a lot of things. Uh, you know, I pr primarily work in uh, Ruby and JavaScript. Those are my two primary programming languages. And as a developer, you may be wondering why you would want to learn this stuff. That's initially what I thought. But what I found was if I understood the stack that my application ran on, I felt that I had a little bit more freedom, more creativity when I was thinking up solutions for my own applications. So hopefully, uh, by learning this stuff, you will feel the same way. And to top it off, it was just I was just curious about this stuff. So I just, you know, I wanted to learn it. Um, and it just, it just feels good. You know, uh, think of this, right? Uh, this is a metaphor that I usually use uh, when I want to convince myself to learn something new. So if you get a box of crayons that has four or five colors, you can draw stuff, but you're pretty limited in what you can draw. So now imagine if you had a box of 30 to 40 crayons, you can do a lot more. So learning this stuff is just gonna add to your repertoire and you're gonna understand the stack a little bit better. Um, it's easy to just pick up Heroku and deploy to Heroku, but then Heroku can be very expensive. Um, you know, some people wanna build their own stack uh, and learn to maintain it. Once you learn it, it's actually not that hard. So. Hopefully, um, you know, you'll enjoy it as you learn it and, uh, you know, you'll, you'll be able to work with servers and you won't be afraid of them anymore. Let's take a look at what I'll be covering in this video series. Initially, we'll start off by understanding our stack. Before we build it, let's first understand how it works. If you already know this stuff, you can probably skip through it. Then we're going to move on to actually building a server that serves static sites. So we're talking about basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript sites, nothing fancy. Then we're going to move on to actually building a server that serves multiple websites. So if you have like four or five static sites, you can serve them up using just one server. Once you understand the basic concept behind building a web server, then we'll introduce more components into our stack. We take a look at how to build an site server, namely a server for serving Ruby on Rails application. I'll be doing all of the above using one VM. For those that don't know what one what that VM means, it basically means one virtual machine. So we'll have one VPS that we work with, and we're going to install everything into that one uh, virtual machine. However, if you're going to scale and you have a lot of traffic on your site, doing everything in one VM can be pretty limiting. And generally, it's good practice to eliminate single points of failure in a web architecture. So we'll be taking a look at how we can set up our stack using multiple VMs. Here's a list of a uh, tool set we're going to be covering in our video series. So we're primarily working with uh, Ubuntu server. Uh, so if you have any experience with that, that will really help you out over here. Uh, we're going to be using Nginx web server. We're going to use Unicorn to serve our Ruby on Rails application. And obviously, as I mentioned before, we're going to be working primarily with uh, Ruby on Rails uh, web framework. We're going to use Postgres for our database. We might get into Redis as our uh, extra data storage uh, if we need it. And uh, basically, we're going to try and show you how to install Elasticsearch as well into our server. So the idea behind Redis and Elasticsearch is not that every app is going to use it, but in case your app has any dependency that might need it, we'll be showing you basically how you would go about installing and setting it up work on a production server. Uh, our server should have Git deployment. So basically, we could do a Git push, and uh, we basically push our code into the server, and then that's going to be our deployment. Uh, works a little bit like Heroku. 
We're going to be doing a bit of shell scripting, but mostly pretty basic stuff. We're just going to type a few commands and uh, that'll be pretty much it. All right, without any further ado, let's get started.